Yeah, I, I, I have always struggled with um, kind of impatience. Um, I, I think I, I think I can see the answer, and I just want everyone to get around. You know, you get on board and let's let's go for it. Um, and I'm I'm always conscious of of the watch ticking, the clock ticking, time going by. Oh wow, I am very much trying to get out of that perfectionist mindset and more. How can I embrace wanting to be like that, but then also trying to understand that those sometimes impossibly high goals are not actually achievable. Um, so for me, imperfection is about loosening those expectations, lowering the, the standards that I set for myself and trying to just be me without losing that sense of self. Wow, that's a very vulnerable question, Deb. I, I, I think for me, I'm working on myself every day, right? I always am on this journey of self-exploration, self-discovery. And I would say that sometimes the imperfection for me is in working it alone. Well, you know, Deb, there are more than one. And so I've really learned that my imperfections tend to center around areas like process, paperwork, consistency, organization, time, scheduling, I'm sort of the person with the ideas and the communication and how can we connect and what is the soulful vibe in the room, right? And, and now I've learned, I now have someone helping me with a lot of my work and he is very process oriented. And so I can continue being idea and sort of public oriented. Mm. <laughs> so there's, uh, there's, there's at least 1.4 million, but I'll try to I'll round up to three. <laughs> uh, first is I trust very quickly and at times to the detriment of me. 